Another creative project available within the Photos application is the ability to create your own custom calendar. See how to create and customize a calendar from your photo library in the Photos application. As you can see below, I'm opened up to one of my albums. If you would like to create a calendar with your photos, a good idea is to create an album dedicated to the photos that you would like to create the calendar with. As you can see below, I've already added 12 photos for 12 months. Depending on the type of calendar that you're creating depends on the number of photos you'll need. In order to create your calendar, you can go up to the top right hand side and select the plus symbol. And from the drop down menu, I'm going to go towards the center and select calendar. From the calendar menu, you're going to need to specify the number of months that you would like to show in your calendar. Since I've selected 12 photos, I'm going to leave it as 12 months. But if I'd like to change this amount, I can select the drop down menu and you can choose as many months as you would like to create. For example, since the month is June, I can also create 18 months, which will include the remainder of the year and next year. Next, you'll have to decide what day you'd like to start your calendar on. By default, it's set to this year. If I'd like to make a calendar for 2018, I can select the drop down menu and choose the year from below. At the bottom, you'll see the measurement for your calendar as well as the price. In order to continue to choose your calendar theme, you can select continue at the bottom. If you're creating a calendar for the first time, it may take a couple seconds to download all of the calendar themes. After the calendar themes are available, you can browse through the different calendar themes based on the photos that you've selected. Once you find a theme that may go great with your photos, you can select the calendar from the menu. And once you see the blue selection square around the calendar theme, you can select Create Calendar in the top right hand corner. Now as you can see, since I've created a calendar based on an album, those photos have automatically been added to the months. If I don't want the calendar automatically filled out with my photos, I can go down to the bottom left hand corner and select Clear Place Photos. It's going to ask if I'm sure and I can select Continue. I can see all of my photos have been moved down to the bottom. This will enable me to decide which month gets which photo. To design my cover, I can double select it. And in order to add a photo, I can go down to the bottom. And once I find a photo that I would like to add, I can hold down the left button on my mouse and drag it up to the cover. Once I'm over the cover, I can let go. And I can see that my photo has been added. If I'd like to edit the title of my calendar, I can do that as well by selecting the text. And I can select delete and add my personal text. After I've created my cover, I can use the arrows on the right and left hand sides to navigate through my calendar pages and add my photos as I need. If I want to pause my project 